Hello, incredible one. Darnell Jervy here. Can you believe it's another Walk It Out Wednesday? You guys, time is just moving along, but I'm so excited for what I'm able to share with you each and every Walk It Out Wednesday and how your life is greatly improving because of these little video blogs. And so today we're on the third thread of success and we're talking about consistent confidence. Now, I need you to get excited because I want you to know that your ability to be confident about your passion and to be confident about the level of abundance in your life is ultimately so important to your success. Being confident means that when trials come, and they will, you will keep going because you know that that which is trying to stop you is not bigger than the place where you are set to go. And I know that excites you. I have been doing this exercise every single morning. I've been visualizing where I want to be in my life. And I've been able to do that consistently because of the amount of confidence that I possess. Now, I make no bones about the woman that I am and how I have been gifted with the ability to complete to be completely confident in everything that I can do. It, I'm without fear and I'm without walls because I know that there are no limits to the success that I can enjoy. And so my goal today is to help you to feel the same exact way. What I know for sure is that when you have confidence, confidence that surmounts any obstacle, there is nothing that will stop you from doing the things that you want to do in your life. And I know that you can get excited. Here's a quick story about someone who has confidence. I love to talk about this, especially because during the time of an economic downturn, Term, people become very frustrated and their focus seems to get off pace and they focus on those things that they cannot control instead of the things that they can which is definitely a sign of a lack of confidence because if you know what you can control you won't get upset by the things that you can't but I love to st share the story of R.H. Macy and I love to share his story because I just love his, his store and I love to go there and shop but do you know he had 16 failed retail attempts before Macy's as we know it was born. Now what's exciting about that is that he was fully confident, he was convinced that he was a retailer and not just any retailer but a billion dollar retailer. And so he kept going, he kept pushing despite the obstacles that came his way. Another story I always like to share, again because we're in an economic downturn, if you choose to participate in it and if you're consistently confident, you're not choosing to participate in what's going on in the economy right now. But another great story I always love to share is that of Bill Gates. Do you know that Microsoft was started during a recession? Talk about confidence and look at us. Even as I talk to you today on your PC, you've got Microsoft, you've got applications that are allowing you to connect with the world. That's confidence. When your confidence becomes consistent, you will know that everything that you want in your life are going to be yours. You will be completely positive. You will be operating on purpose. And again, you will be walking in abundance and in your passion. It is absolutely essential that you employ just a few small things to increase your confidence. Number one, daily affirmations. Recite those things. Write down the words that speak volumes over who you are and who you are to be. And recite that back to yourself. Affirmations give us power. They keep us on purpose. And they ensure that our confidence continues to build each and every day. Number two, Focus on your circle of influence, attracting the incredible. You've heard me share this a gazillion times, and I will probably share it a gazillion times more, but the people that you spend your time with, they tend to lend significantly to your level of confidence. So spend time with people who are building you up, people who are fertilizer and not weed killers, people who are thermostats and not thermometers, and I sh encourage you and I know that your confidence will greatly increase. And number three, believe in your promises. There are promises that have been earmarked and reserved for you. There are so many places you can read them. You can read them in my favorite book, but believe that they exist for you and then make it your mission to walk it out. And you don't have to wait until Wednesday to walk it out. But I want you to consistently walk out, create affirmations, and spend time with people who will lift you up and build your self-confidence. And I promise you that as you do these things, while also ensuring that when you look at them in the mirror, you say things like, I like me. I love me. I am beautiful. 
I am fearfully and wonderfully made. And slowly but surely, you will develop consistent confidence. And that consistent confidence will take you anywhere you want to go in your life. Always remember, if you can see the invisible, you can do the impossible. So I invite you to give yourself permission to dream the incredible. And remember, I want you to make it an incredible day. Take care.